PGA National Resort and Spa is a world-class vacation destination, making strides to grow the game with an homage to the past and a new vision for the future. PGA National has a very storied history in golf. We posted the Ryder Cup, the PGA Championship, the Senior PGA Championships, and now the Honda Classic. I mean, we are tried and true hardcore golf. But with Andy Staples, we are going to change golf and we're going to impact the industry based on the forward thinking design and formats that we plan to play on our golf courses moving forward. The Staples' bold new take on the modern short course is meant to bring all levels of golfers together. To me, this was a perfect place for people that were spilling out of the clubhouse or just hanging out at the clubhouse to just meander over. We really hope that this is something that ends up being almost an event space. We can put a bar out here, we can play music, we can do things that people don't normally envision happening on a golf course, but we can do it, we can have fun, we can keep people safe, and we can grow the game. I also thought it was really important that you could play all nine holes. It's a nine hole par three course, all nine holes with a putter. One of the places that we came to an encounter where it's very difficult to use a putter is a force carry over water. So to be honest, this is the absolute first time that I've hit this shot. So let, let's see if it worked the way we planned it. Well, there you go, I got it over. So <laughs> I can do better than that. Let's, let's, uh, let's see if I can get even closer here. Oh no! The match course design harnesses the Ryder Cup mentality of focusing more on beating your opponent than making par. My intention of the match course is just that. If you come to play the match course, you're going to play match play. You're not going to play stroke play. You know, my six is going to beat your seven. So I'm here this week kind of looking at the final uh, details of the golf course. This new 12th hole now is roughly 315 yards from the back, playing all the way up to maybe 230 yards. Much of the golf uh, architecture that I try to practice is not necessarily on the green itself, but what happens around the green. You're going to try to hit it up on the green. You're going to find the ball down in a hole here, which is probably 10 to 12 feet lower than the green from the tee. It was a little bit of a mundane, simple shot, if you will. Now I find myself, if I pulled it left, into this low. So what appears to be a little bit of a, of a simplish hole is all about the recovery of the green. I'm imagining the guys that are going to play here are going to be able to reach this green. And I have this devilish coffin bunker. I, you can't see it from the tee. So as you walk down into this, I mean, this thing is similar to what you might find in, uh, you know, Ireland or in Scotland. If my opponent is in this bunker, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, even if I'm out somewhere else. I also know that I don't want to be in this bunker if I'm playing a match. This was the old approach into the old 12th green, which is now our 13th green. Uh, now the place is a par three, no bunkers. We're doing our best to not go crazy with a bunch of maintenance intensive features. So we do a lot of grassy swales and hollows, all gonna be on short grass, void of sand. So our hope is that you get all the strategy and uniqueness of sand bunkers without the sand in the bottom. So um, really looking forward to seeing how that ends up playing. I think it's cool. All right, so this is the 15th green, uh, classic punch bowl where it all funnels in on all sides. So if you miss it a little bit on the left or right, it actually kicks back into the green, real traditional historic green. But I'm most excited to talk about the 16th hole. As you come off the 15th green, you know, maybe just throw, throw a ball and, and just say, you know what, these are the tees I want to play from, and wherever our balls land, that's where we're going to tee from. So this is one of those holes that I think is really desirable to want to hit it up onto the green, but yet it falls off. It's a traditional null green. And then if you hit it short, you got a couple of these little bumps as you walk into this area. This will all be mown short grass, but you might end up run up, run up against the side of a hill or on a downhill. And so now, uh, what you know, you're only 10 yards or so from the green, but you might end up having kind of a weird, awkward downhill, downhill stance, uh, which, you know, maybe it's something that, you know, more accomplished players are going to be able to, to manage without any problem, but it gives you a little bit more interest, you know, not automatically think that every lie on the golf course is going to be completely, completely uh, uh, level. I feel that there's a certain precision aspect to this course that even a better player can come out here and practice their game and feel like it's actual real golf. And there's some teeth to this course, and I, I think it's going to be really interesting.